Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buenas tardes, bienvenidos sean todos a la Iglesia de la Inmaculada Concepción a la celebración de esta Santa Misa. Por favor, nos ponemos de pie. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace and love of God our Father and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, to prepare our hearts to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us together call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. 
Let us pray. God and might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. No añadirá nada a lo que les mando. Cumplan los mandamientos del Señor. Del libro del Deuteronomio. En aquellos días habló Moisés al pueblo, diciendo, Ahora, Israel, escucha los mandatos y preceptos que te enseño, para que los pongas en práctica y así vivir y entrar a tomar posesión de la tierra que el Señor, Dios de tus padres, te va a dar. No añadirá nada ni quitará nada a lo que les mando. Cumplan los mandamientos del Señor que yo les enseño, como me ordena el Señor, mi Dios Guárdenlos y cúmplanlos, porque ellos son su sabiduría y su prudencia a los ojos de los pueblos. Cuando tengan noticias de todos estos preceptos, se dirán, en verdad, esta gran nación es un pueblo sabio y prudente. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál otra nación hay tan grande que tenga dioses tan cercanos como lo está nuestro Dios, siempre que le invocamos, ¿cuál es la gran nación cuyos mandatos y preceptos sean tan justos como esta ley que ahora yo les doy? ¿Quién será grato a tus ojos, Señor? ¿Quién será grato a tus ojos, Señor? El hombre que procede honradamente y obra con justicia, el que es sincero en sus palabras, 
y con su lengua a nadie desprestigia. ¿Quién será grato a tus ojos, Señor? Quien no hace el mal al prójimo, ni difama al vecino, quien no ve con aprecio a los malvados, pero honra a quienes temen al Altísimo. ¿Quién será grato a tus ojos, Señor? ¿Quién presta sin usura y quién no acepta soborno en perjuicio de los inocentes? Ese será agradable a los ojos de Dios eternamente. ¿Quién será grato a tus ojos, Señor? Pongan en práctica la palabra de Dios. De la carta del apóstol Santiago. Hermanos, todo beneficio y todo don perfecto viene de lo alto, del Creador de la luz, en quien no hay cambios ni sombras. Por su propia voluntad nos engendró mediante la palabra de la verdad, para que fuéramos, en cierto modo, primicias de sus criaturas. Acepten dócilmente la palabra que ha sido sembrada en ustedes y es capaz de salvarlos. Pongan en práctica esa palabra y no se limiten a escucharla, engañándose a ustedes mismos. La religión pura e intachable a los ojos de Dios Padre consiste en visitar a los huérfanos y a las viudas en sus tribulaciones y en guardarse de este mundo corrompido, palabra de Dios. Por su propia voluntad, el Padre nos engendró, mediante la palabra de la verdad, para que fuéramos, en cierto modo, primicias de sus criaturas. La Señora esté con ustedes. Del Santo Evangelio según San Marcos. En aquel tiempo, se acercarán a Jesús los perios y algunos escribas venidos de Jerusalén, viendo que algunos de los discípulos de Jesús comían con las manos impuras, es decir, sin haber alas lavado. Los perios y los escribas le preguntarán, ¿Por qué tus discípulos comen con manos impuras y no siguen la tradición de nuestros mayores? Los perios y los judíos en general no comen sin lavarse antes las manos hasta el codo siguiendo la tradición de sus mayores al beber del mercado, no comiencen a hacer primero las opciones y observan muchas otras cosas por tradición, como provocar los vasos, las aras y las olas. Jesús les contestó, ¡Qué bien profetizo! Isaías, hombre, ustedes, hipócritas. Cuando escribo, este pueblo me honra con más labios, pero su corazón está lejos de mí. Es el culto que me rinden porque ancian doctrinas que no son sino preceptos humanos. Estud 
Estudes, Estudes de Han, el lado del marimiento de Dios para aflarse a las tradiciones de los hombres. Después Jesús, al amo, a la gente les dijo, escúchame todos y entiéndame. Nada que entre de fuera puede machar al hombre, lo que si la macha es lo que sale de dentro, porque del corazón del hombre salen las intenciones malas, las fornicaciones, los robos, los homicidios, los autoríos, las codicias, las injusticias, las flores, el desenfreno, las envidias, la difícil el orgullo y la prevalidad. Todos, todas estas maldades salen de dentro la machan al hombre. Palabra del Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. Nothing more, nothing less, follow the law of the Lord. In the first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, Moses says, in your observance of the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will give you evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations. If someone tells you that they have all the answers, run. The wisest individual is the one who realizes that they don't have all the answers and are humble enough to seek it. Turning to the gospel from Mark, our Lord points out, well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites? As it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching his doctrines, human precepts. You disregard God's commandments, but cling to human tradition. This quote reminds us that there are things that transcend human precepts. What is God's commandment centered on? It is centered on the law of love, and the love of God knows no bounds. On this Labor Day weekend, many are taking advantage of a gift of an extra day off of rest. We must use this as an opportunity for us to reflect on the importance of work. Work is sacred. Why do I say that? What is the purpose of our work? The purpose of our work is to provide for the needs of our families. We work not only to provide and strengthen our families, but also to provide some of the basic necessities for others as well. As we're given the extra day of rest, and if you do have to work tomorrow, thank you for your labor and service, we are invited to reflect on the purpose of and value of our work. If we lost sight of it, Tomorrow is a good opportunity to refocus. Our dedication in our work is a labor of love. What does not, what it does demonstrate when we follow the law of the Lord. What does that demonstrate? It demonstrates loyalty to God. Employers should be loyal to their employees. Employees should be loyal to their employers. And everyone should be loyal to their families. What does loyalty translate into eventually? Improve quality and strength. Our Lord was a laborer. He got his hands dirty. As the Lord demonstrates his loyalty to us each and every day, may we renew our loyalty to him. Follow the example he gives us and work hard to get your hands dirty. And by doing so, we will improve the quality and strength of our communities, our families, and our world. Nada más y nada menos sigue la fe del Señor. En la primera lectura del libro de Deuteronomio, Moisés dijo, En la observancia de los mandamientos de Jehová de Jesús, que yo te ordeno, no anarías a lo que te mando ni guitarras de él. Observalas cuidadosamente, porque así darás evidencia de tu sabiduría y inteligencia a las naciones. El sugen 
que dice que, que tiene todas las respuestas, corre. El envidio más subio es el que de la cuenta de que no lo hace y es lo sinceramente humilde como bar para buscarlo. Volviendo el Evangelio de Marcos, nuestro Señor en Sela, buen profetizo Isaías será de vosotros hipócritas, como está escrito. Este pueblo me honra con los labios para su corazón, está lejos de mí. En vano me honran, enseñando como doctrinas preceptos humanos. Ignoras el marimiento de Dios, pero te aferras a la tradición humana. Esta cita nos recuerda que las cosas que transciden los preceptos humanos, en que se centra el mandamiento de Dios, se centra en la ley del amor y el amor de Dios no conoce límites. En este fin de semana del teatro del trabajo, como muchos Oportan en regalo en una ex, día, una día extra de descano. Debemos aprovecharlo como una oportunidad para re reflexionar sobre la importancia del trabajo. El trabajo es sangrando. ¿Por qué di eso? ¿Cuál es el propósito? en nuestro trabajo. El propósito en nuestro trabajo es santificar las necesidades de nuestras familias. Trabajamos para no solo proveer y fortalecer en nuestras familias, sino también santificar las necesidades de los demás. ¿Cómo, cómo nos dan un día extra y descanso? Y si tiene que trabajar mañana, gracias por su trabajo y servicio. Estamos invitados a reflexionar sobre el propósito y el favor, valor en nuestro trabajo. Si lo hemos perdido de vista, mañana es una buena oportunidad para reenfocarnos. Nuestro, nuestra tendición en nuestro trabajo son una labor de amor. Labor de amor. Que demuestre cuando seguimos la ley del Señor, demuestra la tal a Dios. Los emperadores deben ser leyes a sus empleados. Los empleados deben ser sales a sus imploradores y todos deben ser sales a sus familias. En que se traduce realmente la letad en una mejor calidad y solidez. Nuestro Señor era un trabajador. Se Enscucio las manos. La media que el Señor nos demuestra se letad cada día en este atar que renovemos nuestra letad hacia Él. Sigue el ejemplo en el dar y trabaje duro y en sus ese las manos y la hacerlo, mejoraremos la calidad y fortaleza en nuestras comunidades, nuestras familias y nuestro mundo.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. The gift of faith is shown in our actions. True religion is sincere, generous, and merciful. May these intercessions we make for others strengthen the quality of faith in action. Por un espíritu de compasión y fidelidad en toda la Iglesia Universal, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, buenos. For strong and effective solutions to alcohol and drug abuse in our society, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, roguemos al Señor. Por los padres solteros y sus hijos, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, rogamos buenos. Oyenos. For the men and women in our, of our community who serve others, let us pray to the Lord. Roguemos al Señor. Por aquellos que están enfermos, luchando con enfermedades que los afectan física, mental y espiritualmente, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, buenos. For those visiting our parish family this Labor Day weekend and for their intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord roguemos Lord. al Señor. Por el aumento de las vocaciones al sacerdocio y a la vida religiosa, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Nos buenos. Oyemos. For those who sleep in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Roguemos al Señor. Por la intención del santo sacrificio de la misa que se ofrece por el pueblo y la parroquia, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, buenos. Merciful Lord, hear the prayers of the people honoring you not only with lip service but with deeds, faithful of, deeds of faithful love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. En el nombre del Padre y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Gracias. Heavenly Father, present you the gifts and the offerings and the sacrifices of your holy people. and cleanse me from my many sins. Gracias. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always a blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now pledge the life, possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Santo, 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 santo es el Señor. Santo, 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 santo es el Señor. Santo, 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 lo es el Rey del Pine. Santo Dios es santo, el Señor es tan. Porque Dios es santo, el Señor es tan. Quiere ver a pasar a la cura de la sala. No, 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 pasará, no, 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 pasará. Bendito vete bien en lo vete al Señor. Sana en el cielo, sana al Señor. Santo, 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 buen Señor vive. Porque Dios es Santa María, la gloria está. Porque Dios es Santa María, la gloria está. Que le hubiera pasado, que le hubiera pasado, que le hubiera pasado, que le hubiera pasado. No, no, no pasará, no, 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 no pasará. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Estia sacrament in nuestra fe. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you after passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Dense for the paz. The paz. Thank you. Del mundo, del 
piedad de nosotros, ten piedad de nosotros. Te quitas el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros, ten piedad de nosotros. Cordero de Dios que quitas el pecado del mundo, danos la paz, danos la paz, danos, danos, danos la paz, danos, danos, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep my soul safe for tonight. Espíritu Santo, the body of Christ, 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 the body of Christ. 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 May the Lord bless you, thoughts, was spirit, amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The 
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. This coming Friday is first Friday, September 6th. We have mass at 7.30 a.m. and noon. Following the new mass, which is offered for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we'll have a period of adoration of 4 p.m. We need adorers to pray for an increase of vocations for our diocese. This coming Friday is our family movie night at 7 p.m. in the parish center. We'll be watching Clifford the Big Red Dog. El próximo viernes a las 7 p.m. tendremos nuestra noche de cine familiar. Veremos... Clifford the Big Red Dog. Google Translate didn't translate that.
El próximo viernes es el primer viernes, 6 de septiembre. Tenemos misa a las 7.30 a.m. y la mediodía. Después la, la misa del mediodía que es ofrece para el, el momento de las decisiones, el sacerdocio y la vida religiosa. Tenemos un periodo de la adoración hasta las 4 p.m. Necesitamos alrededores que oren por aumento de las decisiones en nuestra diócesis. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do that, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.